Hey friends, Brian from Trend Motors Volkswagen and with us today is the all new 2017 Volkswagen Golf All Track. This is the jacked up all wheel drive version of the Golf Sport Wagon that is intended to appeal to the uh, Subaru crowd as well as Volkswagen enthusiasts who have been asking repeatedly over the years for Volkswagen to please bring some sort of all-wheel drive wagon back. The last one was the Passat uh, B5.5 four motion wagon and that was all the way back in 2005 I believe. So here we go, your answers, or your prayers have been answered in the form of the Golf, Golf All Track. Now this one right here is the SEL. It is the top of the line fully loaded one and in fact it comes with the driver assistance and lighting package which I will go over momentarily as I read from the window sticker uh, but overall so what you see here is what you get for the uh, for the old track and for the SEL all right so most the things that really pop out are gonna be the 18 inch Canyon wheels they got this nice intricate uh, basket weave design there very cool you'll notice that the suspension itself Contrary to what Volkswagen enthusiasts like to do, they like to lower their vehicles. Well, this one has been raised up uh, 0.6 inches there. Added ground clearance. You're also going to get some uh, some skid plates underneath that uh, that we can't see right now, but some added cladding as well on the uh, the fenders, the lower door sills. You got unique bumpers front and rear. You can see the LED daytime running lights. That's gonna be part of that lighting package there on the SEL. And then down below, it's great. It's got the honeycomb grill, if you can see it. There we go. Right in between there is gonna be the sensor for adaptive cruise control and autonomous front braking. You'll notice this, the park sensors on the bumper as well. You got them on the side here. That's part of that park assist and uh, steering assist, it's actually going to have the parallel parking and the parking assist where it kind of parks for you. So pretty uh, pretty cool. Up top you're going to notice polished roof rails and between there the power tilt side panoramic sunroof. So it's going to open up the cabin a bit there. Out back the diversity antenna because the car is satellite radio equipped. And yeah. So back here, again, a unique front bumper to the all track. It's got the kind of the, the satin silver accents here. Unfortunately, it's a reflex silver car, so you really can't tell, you know, what's color matched and what's not because, in fact, the side view mirrors, the mirror caps are going to be reflex silver on all of the cars. Um, this one just happens to be, uh, be matched to the exterior paint. All right, nice little all track fender badge there. And uh, yeah, so in a nutshell, that's the exterior of the 2017 Volkswagen Golf All Track SEL. All right, under the hood, the 1.8 liter turbocharged four cylinder, 170 horsepower, 199 pound feet of torque in uh, the Golf applications there. It's going to be paired up to the only transmission available in the SEL, which is going to be the six speed dual clutch direct shift gearbox there. Now in the S and the SE, you are gonna have the option, or rather standard, for a, a, a manual transmission. So pretty, uh, pretty fantastic. All right, real quick, while we're over here, the SEL driver assistance lighting package is gonna include the bi-xenon headlamps up front with AFS adaptive front lighting system. It's gonna turn with the steering wheel. It's also gonna have high beam assist, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool there. The adaptive cruise control, you have front assist, which is autonomous emergency braking. Park distance control, or uh, park pilot front and rear, which is gonna pair up to the standard reverse camera as well. You have lane departure warning, so it's gonna keep you in your lanes there. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, parking steering assistant. So it's gonna help you parallel park or um, head on park as well. Bottom line, it's just around 36 MSRP, and again, that's with over $2,000 worth of options. Let's go up here, City Highway, 2230, respectively, so pretty good uh, fuel mileage there. And again, it's uh, the SEL, so what you see here 
is what you're uh, going to be getting standard, save for those uh, driver assistance, which you can't really see anyway. So, Kessie keyless access, you're going to notice the little slit on the handle there. So the key is going to remain in your pocket, and that's going to pair up with the push button ignition. Okay, the car's already on right now. I've already been uh, setting it up for the video, ready, ready to go. Leather head seating surfaces are going to be standard on all trim levels. And then in the SEL, you're going to get the Comfort Sport seats. Okay, so they're going to be a little bit, a uh, little more bolster there. You're also going to get a full power driver seat with power lumbar. The passenger seat is going to be partial power. So the recline is going to be power and then everything else is going to be manually uh, activated, if you will. All right, special trim in the oil track. Pretty, uh, pretty cool there. If you can kind of look at it, it's almost like a, uh, like a scale. There's a, there's a, there's a name for it. I'm going to come back to it uh, later. But uh, you're also going to get ambient lighting. So right under this is going to be a nice, fine uh, white light for uh, for evening to kind of, you know, make the interior a more romantic place, if you will. All track uh, door sills right there, and then right down below you're going to have the aluminum pedal caps also. So. This is really a, uh, a really a, a step above in terms of um, you know the features that are in the vehicle. I'm going to use the power seat here. We're going to back it up a little bit so I have plenty of space. You have a leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel. All these features here are going to be familiar uh, if if you've seen any of the other videos or if you've driven a, Vol a newer Volkswagen. Shift paddles for the DSG there. Okay, they're going to be right behind. The, uh, the steering. All right, so let's see what else we have here. We have uh, dark magnesium panels, is what this official color name is called, on the uh, on the center stack there, as well as the, uh, the dashboard around the cluster. And then the, this is called Trax. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. It's called Trax is that design there. Okay. Anyway, you got automatic headlights in the SEL. With the lighting package, you're gonna get the auto dimming rear view mirror there, and it's pretty sharp. It's almost frameless, not quite. It's got a, a minor frame, but pretty uh, pretty cool there. As I mentioned before, that panoramic sunroof really does a great job of letting some additional light into the cabin. And then when it's dark out, the interior lights are all LEDs. So they're gonna be uh, throughout the cabin here. Let's see if we can turn them all on. Got the rear ones back there. Pretty uh, pretty sharp, okay? Up top here, you're gonna notice the car net access, and uh, there's gonna be a few different features for car net. There's a safety and security package, and um, a family guardian, and all sorts of good things with car net. It's a connected car. All right, up in your center, uh, center cluster here, we're gonna just go through the menus utilizing the thumb controls there. So there's driving data, assist systems, navigation, the car is navigation is standard, Bluetooth is standard, and uh, all the driving data, driving aids. So pretty cool. You're gonna notice right in the, in the bottom right corner there is the adaptive cruise possibly. That turns green when you, uh, when you reach speed as well. And then there's gonna be controls right here. If you can see it, it's a little blurry. And then uh, on the side there is gonna be your, your lane assist. Okay, what else do we have? We have the new and improved MIB2. This is the 6.5 inch touchscreen Discover Media system. So it has uh, navigation, which makes it the, dis the, um, the Discover. All right, reverse camera is gonna be uh, improved over last year's model, so it's it's clearer. The guidelines are um, less distracting, okay? And then um, what I have on the screen here is Apple CarPlay. With uh, Volkswagen, you have App Connect, so you, can, you have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay connected with a USB cable, as you'll see it down there, bring it BYOC, hooked up to my Apple phone there, and it pretty much takes most of uh, some of the apps that are on the phone, the more popular ones, and it's going to put it right up on the screen here. So you'll see I have the phone, music, maps, uh, messages. I can swipe this way. I have Pandora and Spotify, and I'm sure there's other apps uh, that you can have on your phone 
uh, connect to the car as well. I don't really use it all too often. So it's got a home button just like the iPhone does. So it's pretty cool. Nice uh, integration there. Okay. It's got satellite radio. We're going to look at the screen here. It has um, a proximity sensor in that black bar on the bottom. So as I get closer, it's, uh, it's going to make things, make the lower bar appear. I think it goes away right now. Turn it up just a bit. Uh, right down below here you have Climatronic, dual zone, automatic climate control, you have uh, heated front seats, you have a Fender premium sound system, okay? You'll notice the speakers in the corner there, there's a subwoofer in the, uh, in the back as well. So dual zone climate control, you um, have all your driving modes are right around the shifter. There's a, a new mode for the all track, it's going to be the off road off-road mode back there and that's going to uh, have a few different drive features including um, uh, downhill assist hold on let me find it here uh, it's geared towards actually driving off-road so but of course I can't uh, I can't remember exactly what it is but okay Anyway, let's uh, continue looking throughout the cabin here. Otherwise, it's it's pretty familiar as far as uh, the Golf Sport Wagon goes. So you have the all track on the front here. So you when you close that, you have that um, as well. And uh, yeah, they're pretty much. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. I've driven it. I, I obviously drove it to this uh, parking lot here, and uh, it rides just as nice as the Sport Wagon standard Sport Wagon does. You're gonna notice extra space in the back here. Or similar space uh, to the to the sport wagon you have the vents for the rear passengers the seats are gonna fold 60 40 and uh, you'll notice there's a plenty of plenty of stuff back there now as I mentioned before Volkswagen's main target is gonna be uh, the Outback and the Subaru Crosstrek um, XV there size wise this is gonna fit right between the two of them Okay, so for those where the Alp, where the uh, the Impreza or the, uh, the Outback Sport or whatever it's called is um, is too small, this is going to help and uh, be a little bit bigger on the interior wise. The, the the volume with the seats up is larger. The volume with the seats down is larger. And then when you compare it to the larger um, standard Outback wagon, the Golf is going to be just a little smaller. But again, it's going to be easier to drive, uh, easier to maneuver through traffic and whatnot. All right, I think I just about hit everything for the 2017 Volkswagen Golf All Track. This is the SEL with the driver assistance and lighting packages. Fantastic new car, a great addition to Volkswagen's uh, product lineup. And if you're looking for an all wheel drive, rugged station wagon, look no further than the golf all track so check it out we're at 221 route 46 west in rockaway new jersey you can also find us online trendmotors.com and then on all social media outlets trendmotors vw i want to thank you for viewing and we'll see you soon